Hi, this is Joe from Learning While Practicing. In this first exercise of Chapter 5, we are going to see a Python code of a guest number within a loop. So let's open up this program in PyCharm and see it together. So first of all, we are going to need the random module of Python in order to generate a random number. So using the variable that we have created number, we are going to assign to it a random number, a random integer actually, that can take any value from 0 to 100. Then we are going to print guess a magic number between 0 and 100 to our user. And then we are going to assign to guess the value minus 1 because we need a value that is different from these values that we have right here. And we are going to enter a loop. Actually, what we want to do, we want our user to keep guessing until he or she gets the right number. So the condition into which we will enter our while loop is guess different than number. Exclamation point and equal in Python is understood as different. So as long as the guess is different than the number, then what we will do is that we will prompt the user to guess the number. And the guess is going to take now the new value which the user will input. So eval input, string enter your guess, and the user has to enter the number. And once the user entered the number, that's where the conditional will come in handy. Because now, if guess is equal to number, then we are going to print to the user, yes, the number is, and put the number to say that the user has correctly guessed. And we are going to put two additional conditions, which are two alternatives. One elif, if the, the guess is higher than the number, we are going to tell our user that the guess is too high. And else, so if the guess is not equal or not superior, so it's going to be inferior, it's going to be less. So we're going to ask our guess to uh, our uh, user, sorry, to guess a lower number. So that's how all of this work. So it will keep me in the loop as long as the number that I'm guessing is not the same. So as you can see, I have like while guess is different. So if I, for example, give a different number, it's going to tell me it's too high and it's going to tell me to enter the guess once more because I will stay in the loop as long as the guess is different than the number. Now let's run this program in PyCharm together. So we make sure to select the right program right here. And here we go. So first of all, the program requires us to enter a guess. Let's try, for example, number 32. So number 32, my guess is too high. I need to lower it. So let's try, for example, number 20. Number 20 is still too high. So let's try number 10. Number 10 is too low. So now I know that there's something between 11 and 19 because 10 and 20 do not work. So I know it's between 11 and 19. Let me try the middle, 15. 15 is too high. So now I know that I should be between 15 and 11. Let's try 11, for example. The guess is too low. Let's try 12. And yes, the number is 12. So now once my number has actually, um, once my guess has been equal to the number that was assigned from the random int function, then the loop, the program will get out of the loop and I will get the printing of my value is correct. Okay, so yes, the number is 12. So let's now see together exercise number two. 